folks, it's Amos. If you have done anywhere near the amount of bass pedal board voyeurism that I have over the last decade or so, you've seen a lot of these. Compressors are central to a lot of bass players' live and studio setups, and few companies have made a bigger splash in the bass compressor world than Origin Effects. Origin Effects is a pedal company founded in 2012 by your friend and mine, Simon Keats, over in Buckingham, England. Their bass-focused products are quickly becoming an industry standard. I've used some of them myself. And the thing they are probably best known for is a very faithful recreation of the legendary 1176 compressor. If you want to know how an 1176 sounds, you should listen to music. Seriously, the 1176 has been on pretty much every recording of popular music since Bill Putnam designed it in 1967. It sounds amazing, it's versatile, it sounds particularly good on bass. It is, however, also a big, honking, fragile rack unit, and not everyone out there is me my junior year of college and wants to lug a rack case to every gig. Or two rack cases. So, bass effects manufacturers have done a brisk business in trying to bring the 1176 from the rack to the floor, and few have done it as well as Origin Effects. They started with the original and massive Cali 76, quickly designed the Cali Compact to have some mercy on bass player pedal board space. So all that to say, the thing we are here to talk about today, the thing we're here to talk about today is the new updated Origin Effects Cali 76 bass compressor. This keeps all the features that made the original and the compact total go-tos for bass compressors and added a couple of upgrades to make things even better. This new version features a 10 unit gain reduction meter so you can listen with your eyeballs and due to some engineering wizardry that I'm not going to pretend to understand, it manages to boost the internal voltage from the nine volt power supply all the way up to 24 volts internally so that it can handle line level signals and give you plenty of headroom. Any questions? No? Oh, good. Like I said before, the new version keeps all of the controls and ins and outs that made the original Cali Compact such a winner and adds some new fun stuff. We're gonna start with the top row. This right here is the in control and is actually a one knob preamp that controls the level of the signal going in. What this also means is that it controls how much of your signal crosses the threshold so the compressor starts to work. How much compression do you want clockwise is more. The out knob controls the level of the overall signal coming out of the pedal. Dry lets you blend some of your uncompressed signal back into the compressed signal. This lets you do what's called parallel compression, where the compressed and uncompressed signals are blended together. So you get all the control and civility of compression and some of the liveliness and dynamics of your playing. Bottom row, here we go. Ratio, this control tells the Cali 76 how much to turn down your signal once it crosses the threshold we set with the in control. Now there aren't any ratios labeled on this knob, but all the way counterclockwise is four to one, which is usually where I start with a 1176 style. And then all the way clockwise is a 20 to one ratio, which is effectively a limiter, meaning that Appreciably, there's no volume increase once something hits the threshold. Okay, attack and release. So we set our threshold here, we set our ratio here, and now we're gonna tell the Cali 76 how we want it to behave as it applies the gain reduction. Do you want the compressor to kick on right away and hang around and do a general smoothing thing? Or do you want it to hold off for just a few milliseconds and let the punchy attack of the note come through and then kick on to control anything too crazy and then turn off quickly. Broadly, you can think of this as a punch knob. Rounding out the knobbery, we have the HPF, which stands for high pass filter. So low frequencies take a lot of energy to produce. That's why a stand-up bass is so much larger than an acoustic guitar. That's why bass cabinets like this one are big and heavy and have to push a lot of wattage. Low frequencies also hit compressors a little harder, meaning they're more likely to trigger a signal to cross the threshold. So the high pass filter means you can direct the Cali 76 to pay more attention to higher frequencies, things like pops, slaps, and heavy finger style, and kind of leave the low frequencies alone. Because if you're running compressors at high settings, they can kind of squash the low frequencies and not really allow them to bloom. This will kind of leave your low frequencies alone. Down here is the amazing gain reduction meter. This shows you visually how the compressor is working. You'll get a sense of how much of your signal is crossing the threshold, how much it's being turned down, and the speed of the LEDs going up and down will give you information about how the attack and release are working. All right, that was a lot of technical jargon. Let's see if it makes things sound better than they used to.
right, this, this pedal is amazing. I wanna kick off by talking about the things that I really appreciate about it. First of all, the construction. Uh, this thing is a total brick. It's, it's heavy, it's dense, it feels like a serious piece of equipment. I love the construction overall. The brushed aluminum look is really classy. The, the turn on these knobs is really satisfying. It feels like they'll stay where you put them. And also, has a soft touch relay. The depth of sound and control you can get out of this thing with only six knobs is wild. I've used a lot of 1176 style stomp box compressors and every manufacturer has their own approach to the controls, what they're gonna retain from the original, what they're gonna add, what they're gonna try to combine to save some space. This has to be one of the best approaches I've seen. Having attack and release on a single knob I think is genius and it's like the experts at Origin Effects have done all of the fussing for you and just distilled them into one one very smooth and useful continuum. I love being able to dial in the exact amount of punch that you want. The high pass filter, man, this is a good idea. As you can hear during the demo, compression can kind of squash the life out of the low frequencies if you're running it at high settings. I could just hear the life and depth of the sound open back up as I move this knob clockwise. And it was great to hear the top end attacks stay controlled as all this space opened up in the low frequencies. I also love the dry knob. I love being able to dial in some of the dynamics and personality of your playing while all of the crazy stuff stays reined in. A lot of this pedal's real estate is dedicated to recovering some of the life of your playing and I can see why this is such a go-to. It feels so bass focused. Give me gain reduction meters or give me death. I absolutely love these. Compression can be kind of intimidating, it can be kind of esoteric, and it can kill your sound if you're not using it properly. It's obviously an audio process like we talked about, but getting to involve your visual cortex is so helpful in shaping the process. But on a personal note, I also, I love playing into compression. I love the effect it has. I love that you can express yourself with some heavier, or more aggressive technique and not destroy everyone's ears. But yeah, this is an absolutely killer bass compressor. It's inviting. It's intuitive and it really just like wants to work with you to make your bass sound as good as it can possibly be. I recommend it very highly. Origin Effects is already kind of a pack leader in bass compression and they've taken a great product and made it a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the brand new Origin Effects Cali 76. I've been Amos, you've been amazing. I'm going to go for a walk.